Scorpio, Sagittarius, how are you? Cleanse in the deck of any of my negative energy, only being in the first part of life. So this reading and give me advice. So this reading now. Yeah, she was named. Amen and amen. The home so is that for that to be written. Therefore, that to be done. You're their wish, Scorpio Sagittarius. Like they, yeah, they they would they see you as wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Like you're hot, you're sexy, you're all that in a bag of chips. They definitely love you, Scorpio. Coming out in their reading. Okay, you're very powerful, majestic, um, important person in their life. They see you as transforming, growing, changing, um, evolving, probably growing closer to your higher power, which is a good thing. They are, they have nothing but love for you. They are madly in love with you. Um, if they haven't met you yet, they're crushing on you hard. Okay. They want to work together with you. To defeat the shadow. Look how it says joint effort and then these two are working together to like, it looks like kill a walrus, but that is an ugly looking walrus. <laughs> that card, that looks like an evil, like, I mean, it looks like it could be a walrus, but do walrus, walrus have tusks, don't they? Yeah. I don't know. It just looks evil, though. It doesn't look like a normal walrus because most walruses look lazy and cute and fuzzy. This looks like I'm seeing this as the shadow, right? They want you to work together with them to defeat the shadow on the earth. And they see that, that you guys would work together well. Yeah, they see you as definitely... Um, listening to your intuition, okay? You're, you're changing and listening to your intuition. Um, you're feeding the white dog. You see how the black dog's in the background and then the white dog's in the front. You're definitely feeding the white dog. They see you as having your yin and yang in balance. They see you balancing your chi. They think that's so hot and attractive, Scorpio Sagittarius. Um, they really just cannot get enough of you. I'm hearing addicted. Like they just absolutely adore you. Think you're sexy AF. Like they love that you listen to your intuition too. They really love that. The moon may be significant between the two of you. Um. Yeah, they see you as their protector in one way or another. You may have protected them somehow, either spiritually or, um, you know, through prayer or 
in person if you know them, right? Feathers may be significant. Um, Native American, anything Native American may be significant to the two of you. Um, an eagle claw or a bear claw. Your person may wear chokers a lot. Yeah, they definitely see you as a as protecting them spiritually um all the time they feel like you're there somehow protecting them in the spirit realm watching over them it's like they can feel your presence even if even when you're not there it's like you interrupt their thoughts like they know you're thinking about them like y'all communicate telepathically right so it's like you will interrupt their thoughts and they'll know when you're thinking about them. You've had dreams about this person, Scorpio Sagittarius, and they've dreamed about you. You both have showed up in your dreams and it might've been kind of funny, like comical, something happened in the dream where it was cute, it was a cute funny. And you both like almost woke up laughing or giggling from your dream. Yeah, but they can sense. You see the drawings up here above the person. They can sense you communicating with them in the 5D. Um, your person may be a master spiritualist or uh, you may be or you both may be. You're definitely both warriors, okay? You're both fighting the good fight of faith, right? Um, you may be a medicine woman or they may see you as a medicine woman or they may be a medicine woman, okay? Again, protecting you or protecting them, okay? Yeah, they have a lot of love for you. And they see you as a star, okay? Like, they have options, but you're the only one that has caught their attention, that's really stood out from the rest, right? Um, I'm being drawn to this heron in the background here that may be significant to somebody for something. Your person may love animals. They, they communicate with the animals. Animals are their friends. Your person probably has animals come to them far and wide because the animals can sense their energy. They see that they're pure. Long black hair with bangs may be significant for some of you. It may mean something to some of you. Say some of you may have had a Labrador dog as a child. But basically, this person wants to protect you guys, protect each other, um, work together in unison. They, 
see you as security in the spirit realm, Scorpio Sagittarius. Money is not an issue for this person. This person is very high ranking in the spirit realm. They don't even, like they are so rich spiritually that physical wealth means nothing to this person, Scorpio Sagittarius. And they see your wealth in the spirit realm. They see you like a fine wine, right? And something very wealthy, swimming in it. I mean, you're their wish fulfillment. Like, they love you. They want this, um, Scorpio Sagittarius. So if you're wondering, should I or should I not reach out? I would, if I were you. Because this person's gonna take you seriously. They're gonna love you like no other. We got Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. Like, this person is a doll, a sweetheart. And they're going to dote on you. You get a little bit of clarification on this. Like this person will run your bath water, make you dinner, rub your back. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you you're sexy every day. You know, they'll, they'll blow your ego up a little bit. On purpose you know make you feel good probably rub your feet yeah your person is a medicine woman like they are very very sacred they're very connected to the earth uh, very spiritual they're rich in the spirit realm they're wealthy okay and they see you as very wealthy and they love you Scorp. Sagittarius, so whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, and definitely reach out to this person if you're wondering, you know, should you. Love you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that. That was fun. Um, you do need to know it is hurting them that you're not reaching out, okay? Because we have mockery and the hermit. They feel silly. Um... And there, we got shaman and justice. Yeah, so they're they're not gonna play about it. Okay, so if if you're feeling led by God to reach out to this person, you need to do it because you're dealing with someone who's highly ranked in the spirit realm, and they're not gonna play. They're gonna see their do justice period anyway. So they will be all that in a bag of chips for you, but they're not gonna sit there and you know play with you either. And they definitely expect you to come correct. Don't be playing games with this person. This is not a person to play games with, Scorpio Sagittarius. This person um, is real and sacred and loving. So much love energy in, this, in these cards. And they want y'all to like love together. And they want y'all to defeat the, the shadow on planet Earth together. It's just a really beautiful reading. Gosh, oh, my heart just soared. So beautiful. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Whoops, sorry about that.